ASU is at the center of a controversy with a story that has gained national attention. College Republicans United is set to host a self-proclaimed white advocate, Jared Taylor, on campus Friday. Cronkite News reporter Ger Geraldine Torellas tells us why this event is sparking backlash. Some believe ASU should not allow this event to take place. Others believe that freedom of speech should protect it. It's an event that has two ASU clubs at odds. College Republicans United, or CRU, invited Jared Taylor and have publicized the speech on their social media. The ASU College Republicans are not involved with the event at all. They released this scathing statement. By hosting a race realist, CRU is abandoning their obligations as Republicans and making bedfellows of racists. Jared Taylor is the president of New Century Foundation, what the Southern Poverty Law Center describes as a, quote, self-styled think tank that promotes pseudoscientific studies and research that purport to show the inferiority of blacks to whites. According to CRU, Taylor will be speaking on defending white identity politics. Jeannie Castine is the executive director for Secular Arizona and alumni of ASU. To be quite honest, I'm disappointed and surprised that they, you know, ultimately decided to allow this hateful speaker to speak there. Castine is careful to note that this is her personal opinion and it does not represent Secular Arizona, which was divided on the issue due to their stance on protecting the First Amendment. The organization decided to not release an action alert. What I heard from my board was that they felt that this was a free speech issue. You know, even hate speech is protected by the First Amendment. Several advocacy groups and ASU clubs have spoken out against the event and have posted action alerts to try and stop it from happening. Even the company BAM Tickets received backlash for selling tickets to the speech. I want people to know that we're a local Arizona uh, ticketing platform for a multitude of events um, and that we definitely do not support white supremacy or anything to this nature. So, Aaron Childs, the head ticketeer of BAM Tickets, says they ultimately asked CRU to pull the event from their website. We reached out to College Republicans United to get a statement. They declined to talk with us. The event was moved to a new venue on campus, one that can hold more than 400 people. Those that oppose the event have plans to hold a rally before it starts. In the studio, Geraldine Torellas, Cronkite News.